Thank you for choosing to apply to Florence Starlings and Technical College. With over 75 programs of study, we're certain to have the perfect career path for you. So let's begin the application now. You will visit the college website, www.fdtc.edu. Upon arriving at the home page, you will select the word apply where you will be redirected to the Office of Admissions homepage. Choose Apply Now or Complete Your Application Now. And you're at the start of the application. Prior to beginning this online application, have available your Social Security number. And when keying in your answers, view the examples correctly to make certain that you are keying in your answers in the correct format and with the correct spelling. So we're gonna walk through this demo together. So you'll type in your first name, your last name, your current working email address. As a new student to the college, if your email address or personal information changes, make certain to alert the Office of Admissions or Enrollment Management so we may adjust and update our database. For date of birth, this is a two-digit month, two-digit day, four-digit year. So you want to confirm that you're keying this in correctly and with the correct format. Select if you are currently in high school. If not, move forward to choosing your program of study. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will choose the healthcare program, dental hygiene. As we move forward, you will have to agree to the terms of service. And the terms of service include that you will attest that you are a U.S. citizen, a legal permanent resident in the United States, or an alien lawfully present in the U.S. By submitting your application, you're opting into the college notification system through which you will receive important announcements via text, phone, or email. You certify that all statements provided are true and complete to the best of your knowledge. Understanding that submission of false information may be sufficient cause for the college to cancel your enrollment or require withdrawal. You understand by submitting this information via electronic transmission, you acknowledge the above statements of certification in lieu of a signature. And Florence Darlington Technical College is eligible for federal financial aid funding because its programs do lead to a degree and or gainful employment. This information has been disclosed to you, so we will move forward by accepting terms and continuing. The basic information that you've provided has been populated in the application form below. And as stated before, as we continue, make certain that you are keying your answers in correctly, in the correct format, and with the correct spelling. So your first name populated. For middle or maiden name, as it states optional, the Office of Admission requests that you provide a middle name, middle initial, or maiden name for distinguishing reasons. Your last name has populated. Confirmed it's spelled correctly. For suffix, if one of the selections apply to you, you want to select the one that you identify with. Email address, this populated as well. Verify the spelling. And with the email address with the college, once you become a student and you receive your student email address, this becomes important because your acceptance letters and information from the college will be sent directly in that format. If you have any academic records under a different name, such as a maiden name, place it in this box. For Social Security number, in viewing the example, you will see that this includes the entire Social Security number to include dashes. So key that in in the correct format. Date of birth populated, confirm that it's correct. In choosing sex, you're choosing your sex at birth. 
ethnicity, select if you are Hispanic or Latino. For the South Carolina driver's license number, this is an optional category. However, it is relevant when trying to determine and verify residency. For the category of race, you want to select from the category that you identify with, as well with the citizenship category. You will choose whether you are a U.S. citizen, a resident alien, deferred action program, or non-resident alien. And each one is defined below. So you will make certain you have made the right choice. Contact information. Pay close attention, pay close attention to how this is keyed into the system. It will include the area code in parentheses. And although it lists optional, the Office of Admissions and the college in general needs to have phone numbers for you on file for outreach purposes. You want to list the phone type, be it a cell, phone number, or other. A secondary phone, same process. You have this, the choice to receive text messages or opt out of receiving text messages. We hope that you will continue to receive them. In keying in your mailing address, this could be a physical address or a P.O. box. So you want to type that in correctly. If you have apartment numbers, studio numbers, or suites, make certain that you're keying those in as well. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will type in the mailing address for the college in the city of Florence, the state of South Carolina, with the zip code, the country of residence, and your South Carolina county. County is important, as you will see. In listing your county, you are also linking your tuition base. For residency status, this is only completed if you've lived at a different address in the last two years. Moving forward to emergency contact person, this may be a parent, a sibling, a legal guardian, a spouse, friend, or other. The college needs an emergency contact on record. And the phone number would be in the same format. Educational objectives, your admission status. You want to select from one below. Will you be entering as a freshman, a transfer student, readmit student, transient student, or as a high school student? Choose the semester you plan to begin. The program you selected has populated, but this is an opportunity for you if you have changed your mind or have more interest in another program, just use the down box and choose the program that you want to continue with. Your student type, this is optional. If you don't directly see one that relates to you, you may leave this blank or you may choose online college. All programs at the college have some form of online components. So this option would be good. However, if you are a high school student taking dual enrollment classes, we would want you to choose the high school dual enrollment option. Moving to high school information, if you're currently in high school, select the option I am currently attending. If you've already completed high school, you want to choose your high school type. Is it one from South Carolina? If you do not have a diploma, if you received a diploma from another U.S. state, if it's a foreign high school, if you received a South Carolina GED or a GED from out of state, or if you've been homeschooled, such as with the Grace Association. 
Choose the one that identifies with you. You want to list that high school name. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will list my alma mater, Lake City High School. You want to put your start year, which would be your ninth grade year and your year of graduation. And we'll move forward to the college information. One, if you have not attended college, of course you skip this section. But if you take, have taken classes as a dual enrollment student and you've earned college credits from any institution other than Florence Darlington Technical College, you'll want to place that college information now into the system. If you've already graduated from high school and have attended one or more colleges, you want to add that information into the system. So we'll choose one that's local that we use and is used by many students in the communities. And that's Francis Marion University. You want to put the year that you began taking classes at Francis Marion or the college that you have attended and the year you completed taking classes. Note if attending more than one college, you would just repeat this process by selecting, selecting the Add button. Now at this moment, congratulations, you have finished the application process for Florence Darlington Tech. And we do not discriminate in employment or admissions on the basis of race, color, national or ethnic origin, creed, marital status, veteran status, disability, sex, or age. We appreciate your interest in the college and thank you for submitting your application.